Hi guys, it's Alicia, and before I get started, um, excuse the background noise, they're doing the grass. Um, but I wanted to do this really quick video, I always say really quick, <laughs> but it is going to, I'm going to try to keep it quick. But I wanted to make this video, I'm um, talking about forming a relationship with your hair. I've gotten a lot of questions about how to have a successful hair journey, and I always talk about how my relationship with my hair, I kind of compare it like to a marriage. Uh, <laughs> I know that's a bit over the top, but it's really how I've learned to stay consistent with my hair. It's really how I've learned to really just care for it, love it, embrace it, regardless of the ups and downs. So I've created five that's ten five steps to forming a healthy or a good relationship with your hair you know what are your plans for your hair what are your goals healthy hair specific length goals what is your plan as far as your hair journey I get a lot of questions with people asking me how I make my hair do a specific thing. Their hair is not doing that. So number two is really about understanding everyone's hair is different. And I know we hate to hear that because it's said so much like everyone's hair is different and you're like, I don't care. I want my hair to do that. You know, everyone's hair truly is, it is. It's different and your hair may not bounce the way the next bounces. It may not shine the way the next shines, but it's your hair. So embracing that and finding those things that your hair does that you love and just embracing the whole experience. Spend time with your hair. I always tell you guys when you're asking me questions about styling and um, picking the right products, Spend time with your hair. I can tell you what I use, but that does not mean it's going to work for you. I am a big <laughs> user of the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In, and I've had so many people like, I hate that product, it builds up on my hair. So I can tell you what I use, but you have to really find what your hair loves. So spend time with it, try products, um, try different hairstyles, be creative with your hairstyles. Um, there's so many things that you can do for your hair, but you just have to figure out those things by spending a little time in the mirror and just having fun with it. I've made mistakes throughout my journey. First two and a half years of this whole thing was so confusing and I didn't have anyone, I didn't know anything and I was just a complete mess. So you're not gonna have a perfect journey. Some people may. I didn't have a perfect journey and I just learned from those mistakes and it's part of, you know, learning your hair. You're gonna find out what your hair likes and what it doesn't like. You may try a product and it's a complete fail. It's okay if you have some setbacks. That is also going to strengthen your relationship with your hair and you're going to know a little bit more of what works and what doesn't work. You really have to learn to love your hair. Some people, it happens as soon as they big chop and some people it takes uh, days, weeks, and years. It took me a while to really, really love my hair. When I did the cut, I definitely felt a relief. I didn't know why, um, but there were those times when I was up and down about it. One day I was like, oh wow, and the next day I was like, why did I do this to myself? But you really have to love your hair because that's the only way that you're going to commit to this hair journey so if you're aiming for healthy hair or you're aiming for longer hair you're gonna have to love your hair first so that you're willing to take the extra time you don't mind the extra time to caring for your hair so that you get the result that you want in the end love and commitment which I think is the most important step love your hair that way you're having fun you're not stressed out in the end it's all about your relationship with your hair I know that it can be discouraging because hello I was there I had those times when I'm like well my hair ain't it ain't doing none of that. But once I formed the relationship with my hair and I understood, okay, my hair is a little different, my hair grows a little slower, my hair grows this way, it grows that way, then 
you know, I was not distracted by what was going on with someone else's hair. Um, so form a good relationship with your hair. These are my five steps. You can take them for yours or you can create your own. But I just want to say good luck on your journey and I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Thumbs up this video. Brown skin, curly hair, plump lips, and the thick derriere.